you did out there? I thought I did well. I left the ball out there that I wish I could have got back. But at the end of the day, I just came out here and tried to show, you know, everything I prepared for. So you couldn't uh, do certain drills at the combine because you injured your finger, is that right? Yes, sir. Well, what happened exactly and what did you miss out on? Uh, some of the pro agility stuff that I did today. Um, and then also vertical broad and uh, most of the route tree. How has uh, the process gone for you? I mean, kind of as you expected or any surprises? <laughs> it's uh, It's been interesting. Definitely a uh, blessing to be a part of this because every day you take part in it, you progress as a person and a player. You know, you, you know, you go out here and you do a pro day like this, and I saw myself get fatigued, drop a big ball, and I realized I got to track the ball better high. You know, don't let it come to me. Things like that, you learn from all these things. And that's all I've been doing ever since I started playing football, sports in general. Every time something happens to me, I pay close attention to that and I try to progress for the next one. So I ran the big post, I mean the big go route again. I tracked it high, it was a completion. Those are the type of things that you know you want to do in events like this. Just because you fail today doesn't mean that's who you are. I mean, so I wanted to come out here and just see it, now I know, and continue to work on it. Generally speaking, do you feel like throughout, you know, at the combine in here that you were able to show your best self? Yeah, I competed really well mm -hmm. on all aspects and it's been fun because uh, you know at the combine you're around a lot of guys going through similar things like you and the competition level has risen so much and you just get after it and it's a fun deal. It's, it really is and you find out who you really are as a player and a person you know when you're going against that high level of play. Mm -hmm. And who do you think you are? I think I'm a very determined player who prepares well. I think at the end of the day you know when I get on a team I'm gonna do what I need to do. What have you learned from guys like Robert on, Woods and Mark Lee throughout on, this baby. process? Uh, those guys are great friends of mine. I mean, I've learned from some of their great accomplishments and I've learned from some of their mistakes. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Just like the guys behind me will do the same. Those guys led by example and they've done different things that are gonna help you out. Having what? the opportunity to carry on the strong USC brand history of success in the NFL, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. This is a wonderful university that took me in all the way from Florida. And I'm very blessed that they gave me this opportunity because now I'm a Trojan for life. And now I'll be a Trojan at the next level. What advice, if any, have you given like Juju and Darius, the guys who are coming now? You had to kind of step into a big role. Now those guys have to step up. Have you talked to them at all about that, how to handle it or not handle it? Yeah, uh, I think you know, attention to close details is key. I mean, we, you lose sight of that when you're making plays off athleticism. You know, when you're out here and you know you might be going against our scout team. You sometimes forget about those details, and this is a perfect opportunity for you, no matter who you're going against, to have a key, you know, look at the details and take advantage of those things. I know that you set some pretty high goals for yourself when you were here at USC and were able to achieve several of them. What goals do you have going forward as you start to, you know, your journey to the next level? Well, it all starts with, you know, preparing to be the best player you can come rookie minicamp and to display consistency and you know a veteran type worth ethic though you're a rookie you want to emulate some of the vets that are on that team already you know so you get on a team you know who who are the guys that do things the right way and you want to really mirror what they do so that's one goal i have right there to progress and prepare like a vet come day one do you have a sense of where you might go in the draft when you talk to nfl teams no, I, I, I would be blessed if anybody gave me a shot, just like I was blessed when USC gave me a shot. This is a wonderful opportunity. Man. Few people in the world get this opportunity, and for me to be in this position right now is amazing. What are the schedule? One of the guys at the Combine did 75, he taped all 75 different interviews. He picked the five best, and you and Leonard were two of the five best interviews. What do you think? Is there something about USC that helps you guys do this, this is an amazing university where they you know they develop you for all aspects of life you know even as football players and as people like, like I said with my you know going out statement I was blessed to be affiliated with the men and the women of this university because they really prepared me for life you know you put a camera in front of my face and you talk ball you talk life you know and I can articulate what I want to say if you had to grade yourself on what you did today what grade would you give him I don't really like to give grades. I like to look at it as, uh, you know, you can progress. There's always room to get better. And that is always going to be my standpoint. If you know me in college, I always say, 
I want to progress today. I want to progress the next day because it's what it's all about. Progression is my number one trait and the number one thing I want to do as a football player and a person.